Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, I had a request for a reading on the earthquakes in Southern California. I do have a lot of uh, viewers from Southern California and clients and friends and family. So um, just uh, so you know, we're all thinking about you and praying that you stay safe. Um, sending the light and the love your way and um, if there's anything that that you want to share with us about this uh, you know please do in the comments um, so uh, it's very very hot and humid here well for New England I mean sure there are people down in Louisiana saying that ain't nothing <laughs> but here it's something <laughs> so uh, I have the cards on my lap and uh, I don't have a lot of juice in my uh, tablet so I'm doing it this way and uh, uh, so let's see this is the the um, earthquakes in Southern California let's see what what comes up with this you don't, I don't really know how to ask a question about that per se just pretty much what do we need to know about this okay all right so this card here says to me that it that this actually is going to create perhaps even more of a crisis when it comes to people not having a home, um, people not getting the care that they need um, because the door isn't open to them. The first thing I, I thought of when I saw that actually was the, um, the migrants and, uh, and, the, and, the, and the centers, you know, the, the border places. That was my first thought, but that's not near this because this was near San Francisco, um, San, um, Rich, oh God, I'm sorry, California people. It's hot, my brain doesn't work when it's hot, but it's Southern California, so um, towards LA or e east of LA, I believe. Um, I'm thinking it begins with an R, but I, I can't, I can't pull it out of my consciousness right now. Let's see what's crossing that. <laughs> so, quite frankly folks and don't be surprised by this um, there is going to be need for aid in this situation however uh, it looks like and I don't want to start rumors and I don't want to start a fight and I don't want to start people sending negative energy in his direction uh, because of something I said I think we always have to send love in whatever direction whether it's people we love or people we don't love so I'm gonna make that's my caveat before I say what I'm gonna say. It looks as though people are gonna be in need, and the president is gonna have a, a blind eye or a deaf ear to it. I think he's gonna use this to punish the people who need the help. Let's see what's at the root of this. What do we need to know about this earthquake? Yep. So. I know there's been two, a 6.4, 7.1, um, I have never been in an earthquake. I'm sure, as I, well actually I can't say that, I did get woken up one time, but it was, I didn't know it was an earthquake. I looked over at my lamp and I had these, I had these little um, sort of tassels on the lamp and they were going back and forth like that and I was like, what if we're having an earthquake? Um, and I think that one was up in upstate New York, right? I live in, I live by the Cape, actually at that time I lived on the Cape in Massachusetts. And um, I think that one was like a four or five maybe, if it was that. And, you know, so I can't even imagine. I've, I have friends who have lived in California and have lived through some earthquakes. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's really scary, so know that we're with you guys. 
But that, that tower card at the bottom there, I feel as though perhaps there might even be another one more powerfully coming. So just, just prepare for that and be aware of that. Um, I think if you're in these kind of places, you would rather know than not know, because I'm certainly not creating it, right? Okay, let's see what's in the past. Okay. All right, so burdens in the past. This actually says to me that California is still reeling from the wildfires. Um, so many uh, large-scale emergencies, right? So that's the past. Let's see what's in the sky. Little Lord Fauntleroy. So uh, I feel that's Trump saying, look, you need this money? If you give me a border wall, you can have this money for California. I know that's probably not exactly what's going to happen, but in that, in, that, in that vein. Let's see the immediate future. Okay. So we have battled, battle weary, but willing to continue the fight. And so there are going to be some injuries. Um, I'm sure there already have been. Um, but, uh, but people are willing to fight for what they, what they need and what they want. Okay, let's see how it's seen from the outside. A time to get together, help, the, help your fellow neighbor. Somebody give Trump the memo on that. Um, domestic situation. Yeah, these are, uh, these are really challenging cards. Can you see that? I, it's hard for me to see. Oh, okay. I, don't, I think you can see it. It's just, as I'm looking at it, I can't see it. Um, yeah, so domestic situation. This is a tough one. Um, I want to say they're going to have issues with jails. Issues with jails. I don't know where the jails are. I don't know where they are in, in relation to um, where the earthquake happens. But um, a lot of times in these natural disasters, of course, prisoners are kind of the last people they look to take care of. And so there is a chance that because of that tendency that there could be some issue with somebody who's in prison or a prison or... Uh, somebody is trapped uh, who should have been allowed to go or something like that. That's what that feels like to me. I also think that card is the overriding fear that most people have who are living in that area that this that there could be another big one. So there is this sense of having your hands tied behind your back what that card suggests is that um, if you intuit something, go with your gut. Go with your gut. Your intuition is almost like your, the, the sense that Mother Nature gives you, right? It's like an instinct that Mother Nature gives you. And if Mother Nature is talking, I think you need to listen. And I would think, and for those of you who have lived through earthquakes, you can tell me if I'm right. You might feel it in your solar plexus. That's what I'm, I'm feeling here as I'm talking about it. And of course, your solar plexus is also where fear happens. So it would make sense to me that that's one of the first places you feel it uh, when you're in an earthquake. So, um, so trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Um, we had a, uh, uh, many, many years ago when I was living on Long Island, I was uh, going to um, chiropractic school. I was staying at my boyfriend's house, his parents' house. And uh, we had a big hurricane. I'm trying to remember the name of it. But uh, we were on the island and it was very, it, was, it hit the island pretty hard. We lost a couple of trees. Uh, it was very scary. We had to put wood up on the, on the, um, 
the windows. And that's, I think, why I was staying there, because I felt safer uh, with his family than I would have felt, you know, by myself or with my roommates in, in graduate school. But um, he had this Newfoundland Caesar, who I was adorable. He was like a giant bear. He really was. He, he thought he was a cat. He used to rub against the chairs and knock, <laughs> knock shit over. But he was so sweet. You could never get mad at him. Anyway, um, I followed him. I said, where, where is he? What would Caesar do? <laughs> and he sat in a certain part in the house, and I sat with him because I figured this dog probably knows more than I do. So when you're dealing with these natural energies, um, you know, it's important. Of course, it's important to hear uh, when they say, be careful of this and beware of that, and this is happening. Of course, you got to listen to that. But just follow your instincts as well because I think I think they'll uh, they'll help keep you safe quite frankly okay let's see hopes and fears we hope it doesn't happen that's that's my hope okay um, I think it's the uncertainty waiting for the other shoe to drop uh, is the thing that people wish they didn't have to go through I'd say uh, let's see the outcome okay this is greed, but it's turned upside down. So I feel like they'll get, they will get the financial help they need. Just, there's a victory here. I'm just gonna see if I can pull a major arcana. Illusion, imagination. And celebration. Um, so it feels to me as though, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. The King of Wands. I feel as though um, that ultimately they're going to get everything they need. Uh, there's going to be a celebration. This might be, and this is just a theory in my head that pop just popped in. Sometimes a whole group of people or a whole group of souls take on an issue. And maybe this is one of the issues that turns it around for the 45th president. Um, you know, people are suffering, people are in danger, people are trying to get their druthers and for political reasons um, he does something and if and, and this is the thing that sort of tips it over the edge that's what I want to say so um, yeah so stay safe follow your intuition I do think there's a little bit more to come or a lot more to come um, maybe one more big, biggie. Um, and I think that, um, unfortunately, the president is going to use it for political ends, but it's going to work against him. I feel like it's going to work against him. Um, I feel like this is like the last straw, really, really. Because you had the fires and he, was, and he wants to take money and he didn't want to give you guys money for that. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see um, how this how this works out. Just stay safe, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.